This week, Big Four brings you PricewaterhouseCoopers survey on private banking and wealth management, Ernst & Young's 2011 Global Information Security Survey, KPMG's 18th edition of Trends and Prospects Building, Accenture's merger with Zenta, Deloitte's expansion of cloud computing consulting services, and Capgemini's nuclear development report. Each week, Big Four covers key news, events, happenings, opinions, and blogs relating to all the Big Four accounting and consulting firms. You can view this video on our website and on Big Four's channel on YouTube. So, let's start with this week's roundup of the top news. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers' survey on private banking and wealth management, Singapore will be the leading center for private banking and asset management in 2013. Increased regulatory pressure in Switzerland, London, and New York are emerging as market leaders in the banking industry. This is one of the main findings of the Global Private Banking Survey of 2011, prepared by PricewaterhouseCoopers, based on interviews with 275 organizations in 67 countries. The survey suggests companies should review their business models and adapt to a new generation of more demanding customers and the challenges of the new regulations promoted by the institutions. Today, more companies allow their employees access to business data outside the office via Internet. This increases the risks for data security, against which the majority of companies are not adequately protected. 56% of companies say they need to review their security strategies to modify their privacy and to protect themselves better. Nearly three-quarters of companies believe that their security risk has increased because of the increasing number of external threats, according to the 2011 Global Information Security Survey published by Ernst & Young. A recent KPMG survey shows after a significant decrease of activity in early 2010, the construction industry experienced the first signs of recovery from the fourth quarter of 2010. The 18th edition of Trends and Prospects Building, which focuses on key points of the construction industry, reports that growth rates in 2010 were close to zero for companies subject to corporate tax and 1% for those subject to income tax. Despite the current economic climate, 74% of managers surveyed are optimistic about the building industry for 2012, a figure roughly comparable to that of 2011. And here are the latest jobs from the Big Four Job Board. See the site for more details. Accenture has acquired Zenta to streamline its services and customer service operations. These services include mortgage lending and servicing and will help Accenture reduce the cost of managing its real estate investment trust. Accenture currently provides its own mortgage processing services through Accenture Credit Services, so acquiring a mortgage processing firm will help the firm deliver services more efficiently and cost-effectively. Nearly 4,000 Zenta employees have become part of Accenture. Accenture announced its plans to acquire Zenta back in August. Neither company was willing to disclose the terms of the merger. Deloitte plans to help guide clients through the process of becoming a cloud service provider or subscriber by expanding its cloud computing consulting services. Deloitte Cloud Print, a proprietary delivery framework, is based on the firm's experience in executing cloud strategy and implementation efforts. Paul Clements, principal, Deloitte Consulting, said, Cloud Print is an expansion of Deloitte's cloud practice, enhancing our overall cloud computing solutions and offerings for cloud service providers and cloud service subscribers. Subscriber editions focus on banking consumer products, health plan, insurance, life sciences, and media. And provider editions focus on technology and telecom. Capgemini, supported by Societe Generale Global Research, CMS Bureau Francis Lefeu, and Vasa ETT1 announced the results of the 13th edition of the European Energy Markets Observatory Report. The report shows that, in the longer term, one can expect increased energy prices and even more severe consequences on supplies if regulators and governments don't set the right framework to encourage investments of 1.1 trillion euros by 2020 in the EU. However, as in 2009, these issues may be mitigated by a second economic slowdown that would lead to decreased electricity and gas consumptions. This has been Alicia with your Big Four Weekly News. Join us next time.